A perfect example would be my four-year-old son just was swinging on this ladder and he fell and landed on his behind and it hurt him very much. Well, I was swinging on it and I wet though and I landed on my butt. That really hurt, huh? I actually was just asking why this had to be taken out and now it's apparent that it's not quite safe. <laughs> I remember um, going through family albums and I saw pictures of my sister's father, my sisters and I and another girl and we were like five years old trying to place who this girl was because it had been so long but we were on the swings, we were on the stagecoach and everything and it's, it's kind of all still the same. <laughs> We live in walking distance, so it's super nice to be able to come down here with the kids. We're here a lot in the summertime, and it'd be nice just to have some updated equipment that doesn't um, that feels safer. Um, you know, some smaller stuff for younger kids, and maybe um, a more variety for older kids. Because even though they're 11, 12 years old, they still want to come and play and, and get to be kids still. We're in a pretty outdated playground um, that gets a lot of use and. Uh, We'd like to see it improved, maybe, you know, drop down a little bit, you know, maybe three or four structures. Just kind of get back to the simplicity, get rid of these fences. Um, just kind of make it a more open environment for everybody and families. Uh, some of this equipment is outdated and isn't necessarily the safest stuff in the world. Some people don't come to our park because they're worried that it's dirty or they don't bring their children because they think it might be an unsafe place. Uh, so the reality is we have this aging park, this aging infrastructure. It's tired, it's not used as frequently as it could be, and the unfortunate part is that some people will find all kinds of things to do when the lights are off and nobody's home. Uh, there's trash around the park. Not much has actually changed in about 25 years. We go to other parks and you're kind of like, wow, this is what's out there for <laughs> equipment and we could do better. I say it's time to do something about it. It's time to do what strong communities do. And we have an opportunity here to say, this is our park. Uh, we want to bring our families here. We want to enjoy our summer days and build memories for our children. And we want to know that every single person that's there is there to do the exact same thing. If we can turn the playground into a place uh, that people want to be, then we can tip the scales in our favor. We can turn the lights back on and that old population that wasn't there to respect the facility or that respect the space, they won't feel comfortable there anymore and they'll move on. Newport is beautiful. We have a lot of beautiful trees. The water's beautiful. The landscaping is beautiful. To have a park that would complement Newport would just be great. It's been a few years, uh, but we've been fundraising for putting in some new playground structures, mostly with a few volunteers, it's been mostly Christy and myself. Um, we've raised almost $15,000. There's not a lot for younger children, um, and it's, what, 25 plus almost years? Almost as old as I am, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, you know, we both came together and we're like, oh, you know, just discussing some of the troubles we were having bringing our kiddos here. So that's where we started and we um, call ourselves the Gardner Park Restoration um, Project. Um, we have a Facebook page. We have a vision of trying to incorporate some historical, um, you know, maybe Lady of the Lake or something into this new playground idea. Keep Newport, you know, what Newport was from the beginning, you know, to incorporate it so that the history isn't lost um, from our area. Our community really could use a revamped park. Um, our kids really could use, um, you know, the space that's safe and, you know, a place that we could. And this is a center of Newport, you know. What better place to, you know, have fun family time. I'm really excited because it's been a long time since this has been restored, so it's gonna be awesome. These things take time and they take patience and positive energy and perseverance, but I know this community and I know that if we can rally our people, we can take back our park.